hello everyone it is princess underscore mini four and welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my summer morning routine if you guys are new here please make sure you hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a post So one thing I decided to do this summer is to set my phone to go in sleep mode every night at 1030 and it has a little nice alarm that wakes me up every morning at 9 a.m. Because even though, you know, if I don't have anything to do, I think it is real productive to get up early and it's not even really early. Nine o'clock is not early, but I feel like it's a good time to get up because it's like I want to get up early and do my stuff. So right when I first wake up, I always make sure I turn the TV off. Then I sit on the side of the bed just to try to wake myself up. Then I, you know, take off my do rag because it's so hot nowadays because it's like 90 degrees every day. And I use this time to read my morning prayer. So yes, I still sleep with my grandmother. And again, I do not care who knows. At the end of the day, if any of my cousins come over, they still sleep with my grandmother too. So there's not an age limit, you know what I'm saying? But typically, you know, it really depends on the day. Like if I'm getting up early and I have an appointment and I'm driving myself, usually my grandmother makes the bed by herself or vice versa. So she was gone at an appointment, so I was making the bed by myself. Or some days we make the bed together. It just really all depends. But one of the things I do after waking up in the morning and reading my good morning prayer is making sure that that bed is made. The next thing I do is walk right into that kitchen and I get my 64 ounce water bottle. Now it is finally time for me to be able to use the bathroom. So yes, it's true. After I use the bathroom, the next thing I do is wash my hands. But one new thing that has happened this year is I now have a mouth guard because apparently I grind my teeth in my sleep. So after washing my hands, I always take out my mouth guard and I rinse it out because it's disgusting. It's been sitting in my saliva all night. And then I always make sure I rinse my mouth out. So I've already been to the dentist four times this year and the last time I went, I went for my cleaning and the lady was so funny, right? Like the whole time she was just bragging and bragging and bragging about my teeth. They're so good. You, they're so white. You have no plaque, you know, blah, blah. She was just like bragging and bragging. And then a few weeks later, I go on my thing and I see my after visit summary. And she sits there and says, oh, there's mild plaque and yellow staining on the teeth. So I'm like, why did you lie in person? You could have just told me that. So anyway, another thing she did say on there was to make sure that you floss your teeth before you brush it to remove any of the particles or just make them easy to remove. So the next thing I do after using the bathroom and washing my hands is floss my teeth. And after I floss, then I finally brush my teeth. I am not real picky on what toothpaste I use as long as it brushes my teeth. So now we have this Colgate whitening one and I use that other whitening toothpaste on top of it every blue moon, not all the time. But here is me brushing my teeth and brushing my tongue. Another thing I do is I always brush out my mouth guard and rinse it out. I don't know why I just it just it needs to be brushed off so it can be fresh and everything like that ready for the next night. So at this point, Grin needs to sponsor me. I use these tongue cleaners every single day. Even when I travel anywhere, best believe they are packed in my suitcase. So here I am cleaning out my tongue. For some reason, no matter how many times I brush my tongue or even use this tongue cleaner, sometimes my tongue is still white. I don't know if it's some kind of medical issue, but I may check with my doctor the next time I go. But I just always like to make sure my dental hygiene is just really good. I talk about this all the time. I don't like when I talk to people and they breath be smelling.
So the last part of my little dental hygiene routine is to use mouthwash. So I've always bragged about this TheraBreath mouthwash. It's, it's just like it's a nice flavor. It's so like light. Like I can't really explain it. There's no alcohol so it does not burn. Some of the TheraBreaths do still burn but this one does not burn and I could swish and swish and swish forever and I just love the mouthwash. It makes my you know it just makes my mouth feel real refreshed and I feel like it makes my breath smell pretty good too. So some people may find this strange, but I bring my water bottle in the bathroom with me. For some reason, I get real nauseated after I brush my teeth. So I just have to have something else in my mouth and I just always just drink water. And then I also just take my morning pills. Y'all know since my weight loss surgery, I take pills three times a day. So I'm like, while well, I'm already in the bathroom drinking my water, I might as well just take my pills. And sometimes I have a hard time letting the pills go down. But if you want to know what pills I take, make sure you watch one of my what I eat in the days. So now it is time to wash my face. I use this Simply Saline. I've been using it since like middle school. And some reason the last few batches have been so like rough. My nose be bleeding and stuff afterwards. So I spray that in my nose. I just want to make sure my nose is clean. And then I've been using this turmeric beauty bar that I got from a family friend. I don't really know if it's working. But I'm just going to use it until I go to my dermatologist appointment. So quite naturally I wet my face. And then I just put the bar you know, I rub it in my hands and then I put it on my face and then I rinse it off. Then I use my wine scalp to make sure I got all the residue off. And then I also cleaned my ears out with the washcloth because I just have a whole lot of earwax for some reason. So the reason for the Simply Saline is for you to be able to blow your nose during like, you know, allergy season. So after I spray it up there, I wash my face and then I make sure I blow my nose and clean my nose out because y'all not about to see anything in my nose. So that is what I do. And then after I do that, I always make sure that I spray my flow nays in there because my allergy doctor told me to use that. It should help with the ear pain I was having. So I've been using this flow nay stuff. I'm hoping allergy season is coming to an end soon. It is now time to brush my hair. Another thing I have started to do this year is to always make sure that my glasses are clean, especially during allergy season because when you walk outside, pollen just gets all over your glasses. So I am not going to lie to y'all, I do not do this every single day, but depending on how the sink is looking, I do use a little sponge we have sitting there and I just like to clean the sink out, especially after like brushing my hair. Sometimes it's just like a lot of hair in there. So I just like to make sure I clean the sink off and sometimes I even clean the toilet off. So I just like to make sure the bathroom is not looking like we was just in there. You want it to look clean at all times if you can. So now I take a break in the bathroom and I go straight into my bedroom and I talk to my Alea. I tell it good morning and it turns on my light and it tells me something new for the day. Then you know it tells me any stuff that I have on my calendar and it tells me the weather. So then I go right over to my dresser and I just change the dates on my calendar like my little desk calendar. So I change the date on them every single day. And then I pick out some underwear, I pick up my bra, and then I walk over and I pick out my clothes for the day if I am going somewhere. If not, then I usually just, you know, hop in the shower, but I still pick out my underwear and socks every single day. So yeah, this is what I'm doing in these next few clips. So depending on the day, I'll either use this time to hop in the shower or if I'm not leaving the house right away, I go and I sit down on the love seat and I read my Bible morning affirmation book first. So this one is called 365 Days of Prayer for Women. This one I actually got from my uncle. So I read this every single day and it's dated. So I read it for that day. And then after I fully read that, 
then I pick up my it's called the Bible in 52 weeks a year-long Bible study for women book and it tells me what Bible verses to read for that day Then I pick up my pink holy Bible which is the King's Dame version and I just read that so this is my you know time that I spend with God I do this every single morning religiously and I love it so much So again, depending on the day, I would read my Bibles and then hop in the shower, but I wasn't leaving till about noon-ish time. So I went and I made me some breakfast because they always say you should eat breakfast within 30 minutes to an hour of waking up. So I do try to stick with that. And plus my meals had to be spaced for a little bit, at least, you know, four hours apart. So I already, you know, was running a little bit late. So I said, let me make my breakfast. So, you know, this is usually the time that I make my breakfast because after I take my pills and drink my water in the morning, I set me a 30 minute timer on my phone. And then when that when that 30 timer, 30 minute timer is up, sorry for stuttering, that is when I go and I make my breakfast because I cannot eat and drink at the same time. So after I drink, I have to wait 30 minutes before I can eat. And then after I eat, I have to set a timer for 45 minutes before I can drink again. So now, since I have eaten, it is now time for me to finally take a shower. So quite naturally, you know, you start running the water first. And lately, like I said, it's been like 98 degrees almost every single day. I am not a big fan of hot showers anymore. Usually in the winter time, I am like real big on hot showers. I want to be up in there scolding. But lately, I'm like, I want it more so on the cold side. So, you know, I just hop in the shower. I use Dove Sensitive Body Wash. And then when I get out, I moisturize my face. I know you should not use Vaseline on your face, but that turmeric beauty bar, it just strips my skin and it makes my skin feel so dry. And that same family friend gave me some moisturizer, but that broke my face out. So now I just have to use Vaseline. And then after I, I moisturize my face, it is now time for me to moisturize my body. So right now I'm using this Jergens. I usually don't use Jergens. I'm a big fan of Lubiderm sensitive skin because I have sensitive skin, but my grandmother did not like the Jergens and I actually like the smell of it because usually I can't use stuff with a smell, but my body hasn't been breaking out. So I've been using this Jergens lotion and it's really nice. So quite naturally, I lotion from my neck all the way down to my feet and yeah. So now it is time to get dressed. I forgot to mention I use Dove or Secret deodorant and it is time for me to head out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the notification bell knowing I post and share the video with your friends. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Love you.